Hi Junior Rangers, welcome back to the Ranger Zack Show. Today I decided to take a little trip to Rogers Gardens in Newport Beach, California to buy some very special plants for my garden. And why are these plants so special? Well, I'm glad you asked. Some plants are special at attracting certain types of animals, and I want to observe these animals humming around my backyard. Can you guess what I'm trying to attract? I'll give you a hint, but you can only use your observation skills, deer ears, to help you figure it out. Are you ready? Here it goes. Close your eyes. Got it? That's right! I'm trying to attract hummingbirds. So come along with me, Ranger Zach, as we learn about the tiny yet mighty hummingbird. Did you ever want to know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. To you get your hiking boots and a walking stick, come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with it's the Rangers Act Show. Hummingbirds are fascinating little creatures and there's a few things that you can do to encourage them to stop by your house. But to understand how to attract hummingbirds, it's first helpful to understand a little bit more about them. Hummingbirds get their name from the humming noise that their wings make from beating super fast. They can flap their wings close to 75 beats per second and reach speeds up to 60 miles per hour. Now that's fast. There are a few things that help these birds move so quickly. Hummingbirds are the smallest bird on the planet and they only weigh about as much as a penny or a single sheet of paper. Their light weight helps them fly quickly with ease. Next, their feet are very small and actually pretty weak, and while they can use their feet to perch on branches, they can't really use them to walk. Now this may seem like a bad thing for a hummingbird, but their tiny feet actually help keep their body weight down, allowing them to fly super fast. Now the last thing that helps a hummingbird move so quickly is how they flap their wings, and they do this by using a figure eight type pattern. Do the hummingbird. 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 Are you ready for your Rangers Act fun fact? Yeah! Well, here it is. Hummingbirds are the only bird in the world that can fly forwards, backwards, sideways, and even sometimes upside down. And they can go from their top speed to a hover in the blink of an eye, making them the top gun flyers of the bird world. And you can hit the brakes and fly right by. You're dangerous. Feel the knee, the knee for speed. Woo! Longitude six Delta Bravo, runway seven, land as the whole shorter runway one two, clear to land. Traffic will be two jets. To You're going to Top Gun. That's eight four zero. Traffic's British. Now head to your right and a left turn north. Side eight four zero. Four zero. Tra additional traffic will be a F five. A hummingbird's flight speed isn't the only fast thing about these little creatures. They also have the fastest metabolism in the animal kingdom, which means they have to eat a lot. So what's on the menu for these little birds with big appetites? Well, insects, spiders, and of course, nectar. 
and they can visit 2,000 flowers a day using their long needle-like beak and tongue to drink up nectar. And while nectar smells sweet and delicious, hummingbirds don't follow their nose to flowers. They're attracted by color. Can you guess what a hummingbird's favorite color is? If you guessed red, you're right! Let's use our observation skills, Hawkeyes, to look at some of the hummingbird's favorite flowers. All of these flowers attract hummingbirds. What do they all have in common? Well, it looks like they're all brightly colored and most of them are shaped like a trumpet, which is the perfect shape for a hummingbird's long beak. Using our observation skills while watching hummingbirds can be a lot of fun. I think I'll take home a few of these native plants back to my garden at the ranger station. Let's head there now and learn how we can take care of hummingbirds at home. Hi Junior Rangers, welcome back to the ranger station. If you enjoyed observing those hummingbirds with me today, here are two things that you can do to help attract hummingbirds to your house. The first thing that you can do is visit a local nursery and buy some flowers that help attract hummingbirds. Look for flowers that are brightly colored and shaped like a trumpet. I picked these up at my trip to Rogers Gardens in Newport Beach, California. Thanks Rogers Gardens for my beautiful flowers. If you don't have time to plant your own flowers, you could also hang up a hummingbird feeder and you can fill it with your very own homemade nectar. Just use four parts water to one part sugar and don't use any food coloring because this could harm hummingbirds. And make sure you change out your nectar every couple of days so it stays nice and fresh. Now I know what you're thinking. You are wondering, what does nectar taste like anyways? Well, because you're making your homemade nectar with the help of an adult, now is a great opportunity to use your observation skill lizard tongue to give nectar a taste. What do you think it tastes like? If you followed my recipe, it should taste nice and sweet, which is exactly why hummingbirds love to drink it. And that's two things that you can do to help attract hummingbirds to your house. Now let's do the Ranger Roundup. Well, hey there, Pearl. Are you ready to do the Ranger Roundup with me? Well, okay. Today's question was sent in by Junior Ranger Summer. Hi, Rangers. Like mine, Summer. Why do um, elephants have tusks? Those big white things. Great question, Summer. An elephant's tusks are evolved from elephant's teeth, and they're used for all sorts of reasons, like lifting heavy objects, digging holes, or stripping bark off trees. An elephant will even rest its trunk on its tusks if it gets tired. I hope that answers your question. Now let's do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is a two-parter. Head outside and practice doing the hummingbird. Do the hummingbird. Do the hummingbird. And work on those figure eight arm movements. And while you're outside, be on the lookout for any hummingbirds humming around your neighborhood. And pay careful attention to see what kind of flowers they're attracted to. And you can tag me in a picture of you doing the hummingbird at the Ranger Zack Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. And we have other news, Junior Rangers. Today is the final episode of the Ranger Zack Show Season 1. 
But we had many great adventures this season, so make sure you go back and check those out. And if you're still looking for new Rangers Act content, head on over to patreon.com slash the Rangers Act Show. And that way you can have access to exclusive content every month. Be on the lookout for the Rangers Act Show Season 2, coming to you this fall. And until then, Junior Rangers, there's a world of adventure right outside your door. So get out there and go explore. This is Rangers Act, Pearl the Squirrel, and the whole Rangers Act Show crew, over and out.